Something I just want to add to this video is that this narration says that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said in his will, in his final will, that the polytheists, the idol worshippers, must be expelled from the Arabian Peninsula. Well, this actually means that he himself didn't expel the polytheists, the mushrikeen, from the Arabian Peninsula. He didn't expel people because of their religion. And yet, he was telling other people to do this. So, this is actually very questionable. Why would the Prophet himself not do this, and yet tell people to do this after him? See, it doesn't make any sense. If, we have, if, if it's an obligation on Muslims to expel the polytheists from the Arabian Peninsula, then why didn't the Prophet himself do this? And why did he tell other people to do this? If it's an obligation upon the Muslims to do this, upon the Muslim ruler to do this, then this narration actually means that the Prophet didn't follow the laws of Islam. If this is the law of Islam, then that means the Prophet didn't follow it, and he was telling other people to follow it. Which doesn't make any sense. So this is clearly a fabricated narration. And I believe that at the time when this narration was fabricated, the, poly, the, the, the Mushrikeen were not yet, the polytheists were not yet expelled from the Arabian Peninsula. And uh, someone wanted to make an excuse for why the Prophet didn't expel them from the Arabian Peninsula and said, that, well, he told us to do it. He didn't do it, but he told us to do it. And it's interesting that to this day, the people who believe in this narration have not expelled the Shias from the Arabian Peninsula. Even though the Shias are Mushrikeen, even though the Shias are polytheists, they have not expelled them from the Arabian Peninsula. Because as I said, the people who fabricated this narration were Shias. Okay? And so that's why they don't use this narration to expel the Shias. From the Arabian, because if you believe that the Mushrikeen, have to, the idol worshippers, have to be expelled from the Arabian Peninsula, then why haven't the Salafis who claim to hate the Shias so much, why haven't they expelled the Shias from the Arabian Peninsula? And I believe that this narration was fabricated by the Jews in order to transform Islam into a, you know, dictatorship type religion, you know, into a authoritarian cruel type religion as a form of reverse psychology in order to you know move people away from Islam and you know go against the Quran and make it, make Islam more similar to orthodox Judaism and do the same thing to Islam that they did to Judaism you know create a liberal form of Islam and an extremist form of Islam just as you know they did with Judaism you got the orthodox Jews who are very extreme they have very extreme laws in orthodox Judaism and then you got the liberal Kabbalist Jews and they did the same thing with Islam. Now you got the extremist Muslims and you got the Sufi liberals. And you got the extremist Shias and the liberal Shias in Iran. The leftist Shias, the liberal ones, like Hassan Rouhani, and the extremists like Khamenei and you know, Khomeini and those people. And in fact, Khomeini wrote both extremist books and liberal books. If you actually read the books of Khomeini, some of them are very liberal. He actually wrote books against praying and against fasting and against Islam. He wrote poetry when he, when he said that, I'm tired of praying and fasting. And yet this same Khomeini was also the author of many books where he gave very, very extreme fatwas that anyone who disagrees with him can be killed. And, you know, he, he was very extreme. He was a big extremist and he was also a liberal at the same time. And they wanted to create this duality in Islam as well. And that, that's why I believe they fabricated this narration. And anyway, this narration actually proves that the Prophet himself didn't expel the polytheists from the Arabian Peninsula. So, th those people who believe in this narration are actually implying that the Prophet didn't follow Islam. If you say that Islam tells us to expel the polytheists from the Arabian Peninsula, then you're actually saying that the Prophet himself didn't follow Islam. Because why didn't he do it? Why did he tell other people do it, to do it? You see, it doesn't make sense. So, this is, a so this, is a this is also this is the final nail in the coffin for this narration. This is a fabricated hadith, okay? And this is also further, further proof aside from all the proofs that we've shown so far, these clear proofs. So I just wanted to add this to this video, because I, it completely demolishes this entire hadith, this fabricated hadith. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.